Hola, buenos días, es Nico. Pull it to go. I'm not going to pull it out. So today, I'm going to be talking about the social expectations on social media for gay people. Um, it's mostly going to be revolving around the pipeline of OnlyFans. This is actually my second time recording this video. I was six minutes in and I just was not happy with it. <laughs> just because of my energy, because it is hot. <laughs> my AC, the motor is broken, so it's just heat, because Texas. So I'm just trying to stay positive and stay like energetic and have a good ass conversation. And bitch, I'm burning out. <laughs> I'm tired of it. But, um... Yeah, if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Nika's Aesthetics. A good little community, you know, we make our videos, you know, specialized videos for our Patreon. We get early access to YouTube videos, you know. We have great dialogue via the um, comment section along with the multiple lives a week, that kind of thing. So if you want a good little, good little tight-knit community, come join us. We're very cute. Um, if you like video games, make sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash Nika's Twitch.tv slash Nico's Aesthetics. Nico, you didn't stream Friday. No, I did not. <laughs> it was two of my brother's graduation, so I had to go to that, and I got to see family I hadn't seen in years, in a very long time. And we connected really well, you know? I, I felt like that outweighed streaming, that kind of thing. If you like Thirst Traps, make sure to follow me on Twitter uh, and Instagram, Nico's Aesthetics. If you like humor and violence and just like vibe of my personality, follow me on Nico's Aesthetic on Twitter. Um, but this is kind of correlating with, well, the thirst traps correlate with this topic. So basically, the OnlyFans pipeline on Twitter is essentially a gay will get viral, be it a selfie, be it a thirst trap, and then comments will begin to flood in OnlyFans. Where's your OnlyFans? I want to subscribe. Do you make an OnlyFans? And it's interesting because if you actually take that bait, you are locked into that box, even if you don't take the bait. For example, when people, when I first blew up on social media, it was mostly on Twitter. Like my Instagram was a very slow burn. Twitter, it took me a good two, two years to hit 30K. And that's mostly because I stopped talking. <laughs> I stopped talking on my main account. I just started posting thirst traps and I get like 6K or whatever. Numbers aren't really that important, but I'm giving you a display because when I was talking and when I was being myself on my main page and also posting pictures, I would get maybe two to three K. So it's a big difference. People like a pretty face, no actual voice to it kind of thing so that they can mostly project their own wants and thoughts of you onto you. So <laughs> when I was first blowing up the first time around, people were asking me and telling me to get an OnlyFans. And you know, I'm very sex positive, but sharing my nudes, um, sharing sex videos, stuff like that, that's not really my cup of tea, at least for not like the main public. You know, I'll send a nude to somebody I'm interested in, but I'm not gonna post that on my timeline just because that's not my energy. There's nothing wrong with it because as y'all could look through my likes, I'd be liking big booty bitches pictures all the time, but it's just, a, it's not my personal energy that I wanna do. But when I did want to, you know, express myself and display my ideas and views on topics, I was like, I'm going to make a YouTube. And, you know, when I first made my YouTube, there was a lot of support. You know, a lot of people came and they joined. And I appreciate you guys because this YouTube has also been a, <laughs> a slow grind. We're about to hit 3K, though, because our, we're getting the numbers. We're getting the views, baby. We doing, we doing what we got to do. But also, when I first started dropping YouTube videos and making promo, people would comment, if it's not an OnlyFans, we don't want it. Um, where's the OnlyFans link? Drop some blah, 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 blah. Post your titties in the video, stuff like that. Like making everything I tried to do hypersexual. And it got to the point where I stopped even con like saying certain things oh, on my main page because I would say something and they would just make lewd comments about it. Like I could just be like, oh yeah, I'm walking my dog, but were your titties bouncing with your dick swinging while you're walking your Like shit like that. Like it would just be like random shit like that. I'm just like, I don't even post like dick print. I don't even post like hole. I don't post ass. So I'm just like, I don't understand where all this fucking energy is coming from. But it's mostly them projecting, wanting you to do these things, wanting you to say these things that that is trying to push you towards the OnlyFans, you know what I mean? But the thing is, people don't realize that once you make an OnlyFans, unless you have a very, like a longevity factor, like think celebrity, but in porn, like uh, Tiger Tyson, a longevity factor, as in we still talk about him to this day. 
that kind of thing. But a lot of these girls don't have that. So they make these OnlyFans that people push and push and push for them to make. And then after they make the OnlyFans, numbers drop. People finally saw what they wanted. They weren't getting the kind of content that they wanted because they don't have quote unquote longevity factor. And then they drop them like a hot sack of potatoes. It's just, it's interesting to watch. And I've seen it happen in real time with multiple of my friends, you know, they'll post a picture, they'll go viral. Like one of my friends, he had a twerking video that went viral. He, cause he has a, he has a really fat ass and a tiny waist and a cute face. He hates when I say that because he's a top, but he does. So when the video went viral, he kept getting hyped. Um, he would try to post normal selfies, but those would get no interaction because you know how Twitter is. If you are mainly known for thirst traps and you try to post just space or you living your life, they usually don't interact with you just because they have you in a specific box in their head that's like, okay, well, I want this from you. And if I'm not getting this from you, I'm not going to give you any form of attention or validation. So it made him curve his photos to the more sexual side, which still got mid-level like attraction because now that he made the OnlyFans, and now that he had the OnlyFans and was showing stuff, people lost interest because they saw what they wanted to see. That kind of thing. Like a lot of people, if you don't have a longevity factor, it's more so them just wanting to see you naked. And once they see you naked, if it's not like anything that's going to make them come back, they won't. <laughs> so it's like, that's why you notice. I don't know if you noticed it, but I, I'm very analytical. I noticed it um, with a lot of longevity based porn stars, like big porn names, you know, when they had first started out, especially on social media, like Sean Zevron, his videos used to get thousands of likes. If we look at, um, hell, it's like most of the older big names, like the legitimate porn generation before like social media only fans. They used to have thousands of likes on their videos, but now that OnlyFans is so popping and the actual sex work market is so oversaturated, if you go onto their page, they get maybe 200 likes, 30 reshares. It's like 30 reshares. What is this Facebook? 30 retweets. It's, like, it's not really big numbers, especially from people that so many were vocal about wanting to see them naked or having sex. And I'm not even talking about just the porn girls anymore. Like, it's just a lot of numbers are dropping as soon as you make the OnlyFans because they got what they wanted from you. And I think that's an interesting pipeline of using peer pressure and the seeking of internet validation to get people to get on OnlyFans. Because I'm not going to say, oh, no, they were manipulated and everybody on OnlyFans is a victim. You're a victim. No, <laughs> I'm not one of those people. But it is a very alluring piece to the piece to the pie you know what i mean because only fans only fans girls always get on here oh i make so much money oh i do this and oh i do that and yet they're caught in scandal at scandal after scandal with nothing really to show for it that kind of thing but when you also add in okay well i get these numbers and so many people look at me now it's also adding in money and internet notoriety which is a it's, which is very appealing in today's day and age since we are so social media heavy you know what i mean do you, i hope you're following where i'm trying to lead you but yeah that's basically what i'm getting at i feel like this generation especially the one steeped in social media validation it really encourages the twitter to only fan pipeline for the gay community obviously i have no issue with it if people feel cornered and like oh if i do this i'll get this likes, I'll get this money. I hope that that's not the case. Like, I hope you're not trying to join into sex work just for like internet validation, because as I've seen analytically, that usually doesn't last. That usually doesn't work out, that kind of thing. Like, I'm not saying I'm against it because like I said, I'm very supportive of sex work. And I also subscribe to a few people's only fans, but it's more so you need to be aware of what you're getting into because a lot of these porn stars and sex workers, they'll boast about the internet notoriety. They'll boast about the money, but they won't tell you the downsides and the consequences that come with sex work. They'll just make it seem like a dream and it's really not, it's a reality. So I don't know. Give me your opinions, because I feel like I'm rambling at this point, but I feel like this video was a lot better than the last video I just made. Definitely give me your opinions on this situation. Like, what do you think about the Twitter to um, OnlyFans pipeline? Do you think that peer pressure is encouraging a lot of these gays that are just getting some likes that want more to actually go further and make the OnlyFans? Because I've noticed a lot of people will make their OnlyFans once they get numbers on, say, a nude or a thirst trap, they'll notice that they're not getting any money, the numbers have stopped, and now they're just like, I'm gonna delete. I know a few people that have just deleted their OnlyFans for those exact reasons, especially the stigmas that come in their real life 
from the OnlyFans. Like, people don't talk about the dark side of sex work enough. But yeah, definitely drop your opinion down below. Um, if you're on Patreon, try to drop your opinion on Patreon. Uh, if it's saucy. You know what I mean? <laughs> because YouTube removes saucy comments instantaneously. So you really need to, if you're on Patreon, at least drop your saucy comments there. Everyone else try to word your uh, comments a little politically correct just so that they can stay up long enough for me to read them. That kind of thing. Because I actually read the comments. I like having dialogue with you guys. But yeah, definitely drop them down below and leave your opinion. Boop. And once again, a quick thank you to all my patrons on Patreon and a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons. Your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly. I will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun. I'll see you guys there.